All I Want for Christmas. Snow fell quietly on the kingdom of Arendelle. The town was blanketed in white. Snowflakes tickled children's noses and melted on their tongues. The people of Arendelle waded through deep, powdery snowdrifts as they hurried through the streets. Everyone welcomed the snow, for this time it was not Queen Elsa's doing. It was winter, and Christmas was coming. Inside the castle, Queen Elsa couldn't wait for Christmas. This year, everything would be different. For the first time since Elsa was a child, the kingdom's gates were open. Elsa's ice magic was finally under control. And most importantly, Elsa and her sister, Anna, were friends again. Elsa hadn't had a Merry Christmas in a long time. Worse, her little sister hadn't either. Elsa felt terrible about that. Anna was the most important person in her life, but Elsa had been cold and distant to her for years and years. Now Elsa wanted to make up for the lost time. This year, Elsa was going to make sure that Anna had the merriest Christmas ever. Elsa got started the very next day. Kristoff, she called as she spotted her sister's friend crossing the castle courtyard. I need your help. Elsa explained her plan to create the perfect Christmas for Anna. I thought you and I could make an ice sculpture for her, Elsa said. So Kristoff and Elsa locked the ballroom door and got to work on a beautiful sculpture of Anna. Elsa, Anna called. She knocked on the door. Are you in there? Don't come in, Elsa cried. It's a surprise. Next, Elsa found Olaf and told the snowman about her plan. I've got the perfect idea, Olaf cheered. Let's bake Anna some Christmas cookies. Elsa was a little skeptical. I'm not sure you should go anywhere near an oven. Pshaw, Olaf said, waving his twiggy arms. What could possibly go wrong? So Olaf and Elsa got to work. Elsa decided to make extra gingery gingerbread men. The cookies turned out perfectly, and Elsa only had to freeze Olaf several times. Elsa, Anna said from behind the kitchen door, it smells great in there. Can I help? Nope, Elsa called back. It's a surprise. I'll see you later, okay? Kristoff's reindeer Sven didn't talk much. Well, he didn't talk at all. After all, he was a reindeer. But Elsa explained her plan to him anyway, and he seemed to understand. I want this Christmas tree to be glitzy, Elsa said, but still tasteful. Sven nodded his head very, very carefully. The ornaments on his antlers clinked together softly. Elsa hung another glass ball on the tree. Anna will love it, Elsa told him. She's going to be so happy. Elsa worked and worked. She kept thinking of new things to do to make Anna's Christmas even more perfect. She drew frost snowflakes on window panes. She hired musicians to play Christmas carols throughout the castle. She hung evergreen wreaths on every door. Soon, a cheery fire burned in every fireplace in the castle. There were piles of treats on every table. The entire castle glittered with decorations, ice sculptures, and tinsel. And the closets were stuffed with presents covered in brightly covered wrapping paper. Elsa paused for a moment to admire her handiwork. Everything looked beautiful, but it still wasn't perfect. Where's Anna? Kristoff asked as he walked in to check on the ice sculpture. I haven't seen her for a while. Oh, Elsa said. I told her to stay in her room so the surprise wouldn't be ruined. Hmm, Kristoff said with a frown. You know, Elsa, I think what Anna would really like is some Christmas punch. Elsa finished his sentence for him. You're right. We don't have any punch. She bustled out of the room. I was going to say to spend some time with her big sister, Kristoff said to an empty room. Elsa was stirring a big bowl of punch when Anna walked into the kitchen. She quickly hid the ladle behind her back. What are you doing outside of your room? Elsa asked. It's boring in there, Anna said, and lonely. I'd rather hang out with you. But you'll ruin your surprise. Anna rolled her eyes. I have a surprise for you too, she said, walking out of the kitchen. Follow me. Elsa followed Anna outside to a snowy courtyard, but Anna had disappeared. Anna, where are you? Elsa called. I don't have time for this. There are still a million things to splat. A snowball hit Elsa right in the face. Surprise, Anna yelled. What? Elsa sputtered, brushing snow off her face. Did you just... It's a snowball intervention, Elsa, Anna said dramatically. Since you don't seem to have any time for me, I'm declaring war. Elsa started to grin. Anna, she said, I think you're forgetting which one of us has magical powers. She made a huge snowball and hurled it at Anna. The snowball fight lasted for hours, until the sisters were too tired to go on. They hurried inside and sat down in Elsa's overdecorated room. Now what did we learn today? Anna asked with a smirk. I'm sorry I ignored you, Elsa said. I got carried away with making your Christmas perfect and I forgot all about the most important thing, spending time with you. It's all lovely, Anna reassured her, and it really was sweet of you to do it. But for me, the best Christmas present ever is just being with you. 
The two sisters sat quietly by the fire. After a while, Anna fell asleep with her head on Elsa's shoulder. For me too, Elsa whispered, Merry Christmas. <laughs>